Having the right products is super important, but if you don't know how to use them, you're not gonna get the results that you want. So today I wanna go over a couple of the most commonly misused hair products and show you how a couple tricks can make a huge difference in the way your hair looks. If you don't know me, my name is Chris. I own a hair salon called Live Love Locks where we test out products and bring the best ones to you. I make these videos because way too many people struggle with their hair and I don't want you to be one of them. Leave-in conditioner, my absolute favorite product of all time, you must be using this. Leaving this out of your routine is just like leaving shampoo out of your routine. It's not a wise move. Your leave-in conditioner should always be a spray, not a cream. If you have a cream, make sure to look at the label again. It's probably a leave-in treatment, which is something totally different. It should be a spray. I'm gonna use this to demonstrate how you apply spray products. Spray products are typically pretty light, so they don't weigh your hair down very much. And really what you're going for more than anything is full and even coverage. The best way to do that is to always hold your spray a good bit away from your head. About a foot is good. That way, when it comes out, you get a fine mist. If you have it right next to your head, you're gonna to get a big squirt glob where it's way too much in one place. You're not going to get full even coverage doing it really close to your hair. Most people misuse this because they listen to the directions and the directions lie. Actually, the directions on most hair products lie because they're written by people who want you to use a lot of the product so you burn through it and have to buy more. The direction on this bottle say that you can use this all the time to refresh your style, but you never want to do that. If you use this on dry hair, it's going to feel weird. It's going to get crunchy and the texture is going to be really bad. The only time you ever want to use this is when your hair is still damp or wet. You towel dry your hair and then use this as a base is the first thing that goes on your hair. Never use this on dry hair. You also need to know how much you should use. And for that, it really depends on your hair type. For fine hair, you can do like eight to 10 sprays. For medium hair, I would do like 10 to 12. And then for coarse hair, I would do 12 to 16. You want to get most of it on your mids and ends. You don't want to have all of it on your roof. You want to do a couple sprays up here around the crown of your head, just enough to get coverage, but most of it should be on your mids and on your ends. The reason I give you a range of sprays instead of an exact amount of sprays is because it varies from person to person. It depends on your hair routine and the other products that you're using. To figure out exactly how many sprays you should use, start low and then go up little by little. Try it out, see if you can find a sweet spot where you get enough where your hair looks nice and silky and smooth, but not so much that it weighs it down. So hair oil is one of those tricky products. You really need to see a demo of somebody using it. It's not something that you could read about in a book or see pictures of. You need to see it in video. There's two uses for hair oil. Number one, you can use it after a shower to moisturize your hair, or you can use it just to polish your look up and give you a nice shiny, clean look. Using it to hydrate after a shower is the most important way to use it, and it's actually mandatory. You wanna use this to hydrate the driest part of your hair after a shower, which is your ends. Your ends are super delicate and they tend to dry out really quickly because they're the oldest and most damaged part of your hair and because they're actually exposed on the ends. It makes it really hard for them to retain moisture. And that's where hair oil comes in. Instead of having those rough, dry, frizzy looking ends, this hydrates it, polishes it up, and protects it from splitting. The way you want to use this is take a couple of drops, put it in your hands, and then rub your palms together to kind of spread it out. Your hands should be glistening. They shouldn't be wet. You shouldn't see droplets of oil on your hand. It should just be kind of glistening from the oil on it. So let's go over how you would use oil in an actual hair routine. You just got out of the shower, you washed your hair, you condition it, and it's still full of moisture from the conditioner. So you're going to do your normal styling routine, however you like to do it. And then at the very end, you're gonna start putting oil on your ends, just your ends, only your ends. Don't go up here or anything like that. Just go over the ends over and over and over until they look nice and shiny and hydrated and that dull dry look goes away. The second use of hair oil that we talked about is to add shine to your hair. When you're just adding shine, you don't need to add any moisture. You're going to use a very, very tiny, tiny bit, like less than a couple drops. When we applied the oil to our ends, it was actually being absorbed by the ends to help hydrate them. But when we're adding shine, we don't need nearly as much because all it's doing is sitting on top of the hair instead of being absorbed by the hair. You'll notice that after you put the oil on your ends, you'll still have a little bit on your hands. And that's exactly what you want. That's perfect because that's what we're going to use to polish up the rest of your hair. So you're going to go up higher and higher up your mids. And then you can even do a little bit on top if you have any flyaways. But really, you only want to do that with the tiny amount that you have left. You would never put a ton of oil in and then go up on your mids and roots. It's best to use oil on dry hair so you can see exactly what you're doing, but if you're in a hurry, you can use it on wet hair. It's just hard to tell the difference between what's water and what's oil. It's really easy to use too much or not enough on wet hair. 
Hairspray is probably the most misused hair product of all time. It's because nobody actually explained to them how it works. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Hairspray is not like most things in life. With your career, the more hours you work, the more money you make, makes total sense. But hairspray is like romance, where the harder you try, the more likely you are to scare somebody away. You've heard me say it before, you've heard me say it a million times, the iron rule of hair is that less is more. More hairspray is not better. Hairspray works by supporting your style. You spray it on and it reinforces whatever shape your hair is already in. Everybody knows that part. But what most people don't realize is that you get the full benefit of hairspray on the first coat. In other words, it's kind of like paint where you can do one coat, two coat, three coats of paint, whatever. On a wall, three coats is no big deal. But on your hair, you only want to do one coat because hairspray only provides support when it's actually going on your hair. In other words, the first coat of hairspray goes on your hair, that's great, it gives support. But the second coat goes on top of the first coat and you're just putting coats on top of coats on top of coats and they're not actually adding any support so adding more than one coat of hairspray only adds weight and that drags your hairstyle down and works against you and at that point you're just wasting product to give yourself a worse result and the more hairspray you add the heavier it's going to get the worse your style is going to look and it's not going to feel good it's going to be heavy and gross and producty you're going to have to wash that much sooner my favorite light hairspray is Kenra Perfect Medium 13. It's great for flyaways and small things just to kind of hold your style together a little bit and it feels and smells amazing. But if you're more into really strong hairsprays, I would go for Redken's Control Addict 28. This is a really strong hairspray, but it's still super brushable. You can get your fingers through your hair. There's no crunch or anything like that as long as you use a reasonable amount. So we talked about exactly how many coats you wanna do, which is just one, but how do you know how many coats you're actually putting on there? And the key to knowing is what you wanna do is only use this in any one area of your hair for six seconds. So you can do this side for six seconds, you can do this side for six seconds, you can do the back for six seconds, but any longer than that, and you're gonna add more than you really need. One more thing that I see a lot of people get wrong is that you wanna spray your hair however you're going to wear it. So if you wear your hair over your shoulders, spray it over your shoulders. Don't spray it in the back and then bring it over your shoulders. It'll give you a really weird look. Put it however you're gonna wear it and then spray it when it's in that position. People are still sleeping on blow dry creams. If you use a blow dryer or a blow dry brush, this will make an absolutely massive difference if you apply it correctly. The other day I was training a new stylist and I noticed that the model she was working on, her ends just looked really, really bad. They looked dry and scraggly and I couldn't understand why, because she was using perfect technique. It turned out that the trainee had forgot to put Olaplex 6 on her model's ends and that's why it didn't look right. With clients, I try to keep it simple and tell them to just use one blow dry cream. But at the salon, we're professionals, we should be able to do more complicated things and do whatever it takes to get the best results. So what we do is mix blow dry creams. We have two that we start out with. If you have fine or medium hair, we're gonna use a big blowout. If you have coarse hair, we're going to use Red Ken's Rebel Tame. But no matter what, every client always gets Olplex 6 on their hair because it improves the shine and texture of the hair by so much. And by forgetting to put this on with the trainee, that's where things went off the rails. I try really hard to never say always do this or always do that, but blow dry creams are an absolute must. They protect your hair from the damage of the heat of a blow dryer and they add on longevity to your style. They make it so much shinier. If you're not using this, you're damaging your hair and it's not gonna look as good and it's not gonna last as long. So the way these work are essentially like all the other products. Less is more. You wanna use about a pea-sized amount. If you have shoulder length hair, if you have really long hair, if you have really thick hair, you can use a little bit more. But most people with shoulder length hair, you wanna use about a pea-sized amount. You're gonna rub your palms together to spread the products throughout your hands, and then you're gonna start from the bottom up. Bottom up, not top down. You want most of it to go on your mids and ends because that's the oldest, most damaged part of your hair that needs the most help. So again, start low on your ends, work your way up to your mids, and then when you have only a very little amount left, then you can start doing your top. You shouldn't be having like globs on top. It should only be a little bit. The residual that's left after you're doing your ends and mids, that's what you're gonna do to put it all over the top of your head. There is an exception where you do wanna put it up around the crown of your head to get volume, but that's an advanced class. Don't worry about that right now. That's a totally separate video. 
After you've applied your blow dry cream, you wanna use a detangling brush to spread it out evenly throughout your hair. If you do it just with your hands, it's really easy to get clumps in certain areas so it's not evenly distributed. So make sure, brush it out, spread it out, and then start blow drying. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Me or someone from the community will get back to you. If you wanna know what products I use, I'll have a list of all the products from this video in the bottom here in the description. If you haven't got my recommended product list, I really recommend that you go and grab it now. It's in the description as well. That's basically your starting point to come into my world. I'm gonna tell you exactly what your hair type is. There's a quiz, just answer a couple questions. You'll figure out your exact hair type and exactly which products you need. It'll walk you through everything without you having to guess. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.